Okay, so listen, my place is a mess. I just moved into an apartment today and I just threw all my junk in drawers without really, I gave them a cleaning, but I didn't really do the whole contact paper thing. And the shelves are a little older because it's a 1950s place. So everything is really hard to come in and out. So I'm gonna see how quickly I can give these cabinets a small overhaul. So first thing I'm gonna do is empty out the cabinet. The first thing I'm going to do is take a razor blade and I'm going to take out any bits and pieces of old contact paper or masking tape that are inside the cabinet. This one doesn't have a whole lot, just little bits and pieces that I'm going to take out. Wow, there actually isn't much in this one. You should have seen the other ones. And I did already scrape these with Windex before I put my junk in there, but like I said, that wasn't enough. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure my contact paper and all I'm gonna do is take it sill to sill or side to side. So I'll get the side with these lines in here and I'll line it up all the way to one edge and all the way to the other edge and that gives me a little bit of an overlap. And so I'm gonna go ahead and pick my line here and I'm gonna start cutting. Fold it halfway so that the adhesive is on the outside. And I'm roughly gonna put it in here. Before it really bonds, I'm just gonna line it up to the front of the drawer. And using the eyeball method, I'm gonna try to get a little bit of overlap on each side that's about equal to the width of the side walls. So I'm gonna press everything down. Then I'm gonna use a club card. This is just some rental card that I don't really use. And I'm gonna use this as a squeegee to just press everything down. And I'm also gonna use it in the corners. So that I get a nice clean corner. And again, using it as a squeegee Make sure everything's nicely bonded. Do the same on the other side. And I'm not looking for perfection. I just, I just want to get a nice cover on this thing so I can put the utensils in here. And So there you go. Now the next thing I'm going to do so that this drawer operates well going in and out is I'm going to take a regular candle here and what I'm going to do is at about a 45 degree angle to the corners, I'm just going to rub a layer of wax on the rails. And once the corners are done, I'm going to actually just go ahead and rub it flat on the rail itself. 
And I'm going to do the same thing on all the other rails. And I'm going to go under the cabinet and we're going to actually rub some on the rail that's in there too. Okay, time to put all the junk back in my drawer. Done. And I've got a nicely covered and nicely operating drawer. Try it. Hopefully it works for you too. Thanks for watching.